everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with another quick video. Today what I want to talk about is some of those survival chainsaws that you see. And basically what they are is they're a chainsaw blade that has some webbing on either end and, and people are buying these for like $40 and they're taking them out and they're cutting wood out in the wilderness with them. So the video today is my attempt to reproduce one of those much cheaper uh, here at home. So I'm going to lay out a few things that I think you might need to make one of these chains yourself and save a lot of money. So the first thing obviously that I have is I went down to my local hardware store and I purchased a chainsaw chain bear with me here this thing's kinda so I have a, a nice little chain here and what my intentions are is to take one of the links and with a grinder I'm gonna grind these little rivets down and separate the chain into two you know into one long piece so it's not a circle anymore so to do that, obviously I have the chain. The next thing I have is a grinder, obviously, to cut that rivet. And I have five feet of tubular webbing that I'm going to be using for my handles. Okay, so if you hear any noise in the background, it's my dog. She likes to come out here when I'm filming. So I have some tubular webbing. Okay, one more thing is safety. Of course, earplugs. I'm not putting them on, I'm just putting them on my neck. And as always, safety glasses, because I'm going to be dealing with sparks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's put these earplugs on. And I'm going to take these two rivets right off of this link here. So I've got my safety glasses on, i got my earplugs in. Move the webbing out of the way. I'm going to lay this, this chain down on a small piece of wood and I'm going to start to cut the rivet. Okay, so I've taken one rivet out. Hope you can see that. Now my intentions are to push that through with a with a punch. I, I can't even see where the rivet was. So I'm just kind of punching blind here. I'm sure that once I get the right spot, it'll pop through. There it is. Okay, see, you can see where I started to pop that loose. Let me go ahead and hit the other side. I'll grab the other side. I still have my earplugs on. As you can see, you know, I have my, my reloading presses covered with towels because of all the sparks that are flying around. Okay. So I've removed one tooth. Now I can take my earplugs off and you can see where my chain has came apart. And to my surprise, the holes are actually larger in diameter than I thought they would be. Get this fixed. My plan is to go out to the uh, wood pile. 
take a piece of firewood out there and just see how how it cuts so I'm kind of in a small bit of a hurry because we're about to lose daylight outside and I want to get this done so that I could get out there and test this thing with some real paracord you know honestly I was pretty impressed with the way this saw performed and and even more so I was impressed in the fact that that fake paracord held up as well as it did so now I have two new connections okay everybody I'm out here out by my wood pile I have a pretty hefty piece of wood hopefully I'll be able to cut through this I don't know how this is gonna go I just cut through a smaller one and didn't have no problems I guess the hardest thing that I dealt with was keeping it still where I could cut it so I'm gonna adjust my camera just a second here where we can see what's going on now let me line up my blade So there you have it. Pretty good hefty piece of wood.
pretty heavy duty. Pretty big log. Whew, takes a little work. Pretty large. <laughs> My blade stuck. You know, I went pretty good speed until I noticed that I was almost done and then I slowed down a bit at the end because I didn't want to cut through too quickly and have the blade fly. Plus I was getting a little tired, still catching my breath actually. I'm looking at the chain here, uh, more specifically the paracord where it's coming in connection to the chain. I'm looking for any wear and tear on the paracord and I don't see any so it's holding up really well but this is my homemade survival chainsaw and anyway I want to say thank you everybody for watching the video please feel free to comment subscribe thumbs up share send me a PM and uh, as always have a beautiful day we'll talk to you next time Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.